Hi everyone, today is uh, September 16th, 2021. I'm gonna take you through our workout. Today we have our warm up, then we're gonna go uh, through a skill session, and then we have our Metcon. Um, so today's workout, we have a seven, uh, warm up. We're gonna do seven minute air map. We're running today, so we're looking for a 100 foot shuttle run. We will stay within the gym. Uh, so about uh, four laps, four down and backs at the gym at a moderate pace. Push up and through a pike. So you do your push up, and then lean through for that pike. Stretch. We'll do seven up down. So we're just gonna get down, come back up, and then we have dumbbell presses. So you can grab your dumbbells, and we're just gonna press straight up. We have a lot of shoulders today. All right. So getting right into it, our skill session. We're gonna do a twenty second uh, of a handstand hold, um, handstand shoulder tap. So this is an advanced gymnastic skill. This this could be challenging. So if you're upside down on the wall, you want to ideally touch each shoulder, okay? Uh, but we can modify that a few ways. Now the first version is to go toes on the box and then pike all the way up. And now we're just gonna tap our shoulder, okay? You can also do that from your feet. This is the easiest way to do it. Tap, tap. All right, ideally we want to get upside down and just get some shoulder taps. Then we have two sets of strict handstand push-ups. So we'll kick up into the wall, we'll do strict handstand push-ups, and then we're gonna hold for about 20 seconds. Now, for the strict handstand push-up, that might be challenging. We can do that on a box, just like I did there. Instead, we can just go toes on the box, touch our head down, or even toes on the floor, bring our head down. Once we finish that, that rep, that third rep, we're gonna hold for about 20 seconds upside down when whatever version you're doing it. So really we're trying to consider what we're gonna do for the Metcon. So the Metcon, we have uh, running. You're gonna start with the 400 meter run, then you're gonna finish with the 400 meter run. So it should be about two minutes of cardio. If you want to get on the bike and the, the rower, you can do that too. Uh, the bike will be 25 calories for men. The rower will be uh, 20 calories for women. The rower will be 500 meters for men, 400 meters for women. All right. Then we have our push jerk into our handstand push up. So all, everything's about the shoulders, except the arm. Barbell's in that front rack position. All right, on the push jerk, we're using lateral legs. Especially in this workout where you're doing handstand push ups um, as well. So you have your elbow down in the front. You're dipping, you're extending, bar starts to go up. Re dip underneath, a little squat, and then stand all the way up. Then you have your push, handstand push up. So during the skill portion, work with your coach, you should find that standard for the handstand push-up. All right. Okay, so if you have, if you're working out at home, you can do regular push-ups for the push jerks, but some kind of upside down handstand push-up um, for the handstand push-up. So pair it with your push-up or piped up on the box or piped up on your couch or wherever you need to do. And then going out on the run. All right. So if you have any questions uh, about this workout, reach out and then make sure you post your scores for the watch, have your workout.